giant action. A giant meteorite. Or a meteor. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. It's a huge space rock flying a zillion miles per hour. Chico, you're the first lonesome traveler to ever set foot on this incredible space rock thingy. You've traveled 10 billion miles in your ship, and you're walking around on the surface. Ahem, <clears throat> I said walking. You're all alone exploring the vast, uh, vastness. And you're having an awesome time. I said an awesome time. There you go. But wait, oh no, the explorer isn't alone. Could it be a hostile alien? It is, and he's extremely aggressive. This means danger. Our explorer brings out his mode of self-defense. Yeah, yeah, that one. Just as he readies his weapon, the meteor suddenly flies into a dangerous radioactive storm. Oh, it's shaking things up. Ah, oh, wait, that's just the film messing up. Excuse me, I asked for a storm. I can't work under these conditions. Who's in charge of special oh, effects? There might be a problem. I'll fix it as soon as I can. Fine. Everyone take five. A soft five. Be good now. Action! My totally spaced out life take 12. Gotta hand it to Pin. These effects are something. Where's that robot who plays the monster? Gross, 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 gross! Pew, pew. Pew? Pew. No need to worry, but I might have lost our robotic actor. I can't get a signal from him in this form. Uh -huh. I'm more worried about Chico. Why can I not see my star? That's my fault. You asked me to make real fog, so I made it. Ah, well. Ah, great. Yoo-hoo! something. Day 20. No further signs of intelligent life. I'm light years away from everyone I know, which is probably fine since they got me into this mess in the first place. Pew, pew. This is the last time I do a movie for Crash, really. I just wish I was home. Oh, 
Chico. It's about time. Hey, where you been? <laughs> the fog totally ruined everything we tried to shoot. <laughs> so we'll have to move the part where you find a confusing celebrity cameo on Mars to tomorrow. <laughs> <sighs> Where's our place in the universe? <laughs> Beats me, I don't know. But it's just as fun here as it would be anywhere else, right? <laughs> If you think about it, we're all kind of space explorers, flying away on our own tiny meteor. The only difference is that none of us have any kind of script. Or a laser, I guess. Ever heard of a leaf that falls up? Hey Chico, check out that freaky looking dragonfly. Yeah. Wonder if one of these apples will fall up. Sweet. Hey, check it out. I'll shake the tree and you climb up and catch the apple when it falls, okay? No, if I climbed the tree, I'd be up. And apples only fall up when you're down, not up. This is very confusing. It's all how you look at it. If only it were that easy. Changing your perception, I mean. I've been so depressed lately. I can hardly eat. I can hardly sleep. I feel so blue. <sighs> and the worst part of it is, I have positively no energy. Hey, Wally. Help us out. Shake this tree for us. <sighs> I simply don't have the energy. I don't even have enough energy to eat my bologna and olive tart, which is unfortunate because it's my favorite thing to eat. Well, then I'll do it. <laughs> oh. Uh, is it me, or is the planet spinning extra fast? Ha, that's uh, ridiculous. Uh, uh, oh, oh, wow, uh, you can just ignore my last remark. Uh, sure, be dizzy. I'll just sit here and sink further into my own personal abyss. Uh, I, oh, oh, man, I was sure that tree was on the right, so I move left. And then the tree followed me. What's right and left? Oh, I no longer know which is which. If I stand here and look up, then my right is on my left. Then if I move my eyes from left to right, right is up and left is down is up, I think. Chico, do you have a twin? I think I do. He's right over there. How lucky you are. That spatial concepts like these still have meaning. I envy you. Mm, okay, okay. <gasps> Looks like a beautiful Agaricus bisporus. Hey, Daco. So we're kind of having a rough time over here. Could you help oh? us out, you think? What's the trouble, boys? Oh, well, what happened was we were standing on our heads, and at first we were having a lot of fun, but then we tried to stand up and, oh, boy. Oh. The problem is obvious. It must be nice. To have everything figured out. Now, where is the top of this picture? Where it's all blue? Very good. How about this one? Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Let's broaden our minds a little. In reality, there is no up and no down. But that's kind of confusing, right? So, we are blessed with an inner balance system which tells us where we are in relation to space. You see? This system helps us determine what is right and what is left, what is up and what is down. Hoppa! <laughs> we learn this from childhood, you see, and it helps us safely navigate our world. I get what you're saying and everything, but why would it work when you're upside down? When you were standing on your heads, hoppa, you were seeing the world from a different perspective, and your system adjusted accordingly. Then when you got right side up, hoppa, your inner balance system had to readjust. But it was slightly out of whack, since it was used to being topsy-turvy. But how do we train our system to get it back to normal? Keep doing it.
I'm still blue. It's not fair. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, Wally. What's so beautiful about it, I ask you? The air's so humid I can barely breathe. The sun's so hot I'm bound to get sunstroke and collapse. The grass is prickly. <laughs> you just need to change your perspective. What are you talking about? Perspective! Try it. The sun is gone. How did that happen? <laughs> Not so humid anymore. <laughs> the grass. It tickles. <laughs> Not so prickly, eh, Wally? Oh, I think I should stand up. I'm feeling a little bit wobbly. Don't worry, my wobbly friend. We'll take care of that. Actually, it's time for me to eat lunch. But I can offer you some if you'd like. It's quite good. That's great, but the fish are biting now. Um, not bad. Hurry up, let's go. Why don't you just skip lunch? Crash, have I ever told you that listening to you is bad for my health? Because it is. Last night, three o'clock in the morning, you wanted me to come play with your trains. Of course, that's the best time <laughs> to play. <laughs> <laughs> Trains. There's no harm in staying up late, and if there were, <laughs> I'd be sick all the time. That's just the way I live my life. If I want to do something, I'd do it. It's never hurt me before. <laughs> when I want something, <laughs> I take it. And I want to take you fishing. So, <gasps> so come on, put down that salad, and let's go. <laughs> You played with your trains at 3 o'clock in the morning because you couldn't fall asleep. The reason you couldn't fall asleep is because you ate too much at dinner, which keeps you awake. The reason you ate too much at dinner is because you skipped lunch after following your crazy schemes. Also, you slept late, which messes up the sleep cycle. Tell me, how does doing whatever you want, when you want, help you at all? Look at yourself. Just admit it. This is a problem. Chico, chill out, man. Why are you cramping my style? <coughs> Listen, we have different lifestyles. <laughs> Follow me. Keep up. Where are we? Come on, keep up. Almost. Look. Uh, of course, carry the one and then um, subtract. Oh, cool! Doing science in his spare time. Or maybe he's taking up a new form of collage art? Whatever, this kind of dedication to his craft is awesome! He knows his hobbies are more important than eating or sleeping, like me. You think so, huh? Sodium... Uh, 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 nitrate... Uh, oh. I bet he was close to figuring out whatever it was he was figuring out. What you fail to understand is that our bodies can only take so much. We need to recharge. Uh, maybe he'd find his breakthrough if he just ate some food and slept through the night. Uh, that's all it takes. This whole eccentric scientist thing can only take you so far. Even Einstein probably took naps. Wow, he decorated his door. I wonder what language this it's is. It's still English. It's just English for smart people. That's why you can't read it. That makes <laughs> sense. But Daco's gonna be just fine. We'll see. I think chloride, though. Yes! Could it be monosodium glutamate? <laughs> What's Sorry wrong? Uh, yes! Well, he made himself ill. That's what happens when our lifestyle doesn't have any order to it. Do you understand now? We need to eat and sleep to stay healthy. Otherwise, we crash. Nah, he's just weak. <laughs> Not getting enough sleep also makes it easier to get sick. <sighs> Uh, what? Hap? 
happened? <coughs> I have so much work left. I need to get back to it. Yes, right now. Take a break first, Daco. Just take things slow. There's always time to indulge in a hot bowl of vegetable chowder. <laughs> Time to fish! Time for trades! Don't boss me! I do what I want! <laughs> please, please, let's go fishing right now! <laughs> is this something that should make us very worried? Nah, this is how he normally sleeps. You're fishy, fishy. <coughs> I'm gonna catch you. What a day! I don't think I've woken up this early in a really long time, my friend. Doesn't this also mess up one's sleep schedule? In a good way, though. It's good to breathe that fresh, salty air. Salty. Hm? Wait, Darko, <laughs> what's wrong? I finally solved the equation! <laughs> Holy carrots! <laughs> Uh, yes, I've got it. Yes, that's it. <laughs> N-A-C-L. Oh, oh, break time. Well, science man, what are you working on? <gasps> Ooh, what are you working on to show us this time? So, where to start? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, um, uh... He's just taking a break from his hobbies. Don't you worry, he'll be just fine. Uh, pass the salt, please. Sometimes you think about your own health. But when you've been feeling fine and haven't thought about it in a while, once you do think about it, you start to wonder if something might be wrong with you after all. <coughs> Uh. Let's go! What are you checking your makeup? <laughs> Feel my head. Do you think I'm running a fever? Feels the same as mine. Well, could be that you're running a fever as well. Nah, look at you, tough bunny. Picture of health. I can't remember you getting sick ever. Not once. You wouldn't believe how many health hazards there are out there. Uh, there are billions of creeping microbes all around us. And horrible, nasty viruses, too. <laughs> you could have some kind of terrible sickness without even realizing you were sick at all. Since when did you turn into Captain Healthy Pants? Does something hurt? If only it were that simple. One part of your body's hurting, so you just take care of that. Nice and easy. But I have every single symptom at once. What symptoms, then? All of them. Dry tongue, uh, high fever, um, lightheadedness, numbness of my extremities, a kind of stinging itching on my unmentionables, huh? ringing in my ears, sewer uh. breath, blurred uh. vision, oh, not to mention that whenever I go like this, there is this crazy clicking sound. Well, then don't go like that. <laughs> That's easier said than done. How else will I know if it still clicks or not? I'm ready to face whatever illness I have, but it's scary not knowing what's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> microbes? Ah! Oh, I swallowed a hundred million microbes! Ah! Well, that's that, I guess. <laughs> All right, we'll have a specialist take a look at you. Well, your temperature is normal. Hmm. And your throat's fine. You're healthy. Uh, are you sure? Those who aren't sick don't value good health. Kid, you're as healthy as a horse. I think that I need a second opinion. Fine, you're also short. <laughs> of course, to stay healthy, you need to take care of yourself. Brush your teeth, avoid drafts, clean your room, wash fruits, vegetables, and your hands. Hmm. Close the door. There's a draft. I just don't understand. I've been washing my hands for half an hour, but they still feel dirty somehow. Well, are you using quality soap? Top of the line. Can't scrimp on health. 
Chico. Freeze. Uh, put those booties on. This is a perfectly disinfected environment. Completely free of microbes. Didn't you forget something when I came in? Our secret handshake? Maybe if I douse them in the industrial disinfectant, I could shake. But to be certain they're sanitized enough will require extensive testing. It's amazing. How did you survive all the other times you shook my filthy hand? Chico, you're losing it. It's just that the old Chico didn't care nearly enough about taking care of his good health. Which, I might add, was super dumb. Just thinking about all the risks I used to take for no reason at all. By making contact with the disgustingly unsanitary environment. Chico, why have you lost your mind about your health? You're wrong. I've found my mind. I'm healthy. What if you feel like giving someone a hug? Will you douse them in sanitizer first? I'd figure something out. How horrible. There's clouds of dust in the air. <laughs> if all you're going to see is these microbe things everywhere you look, you can just shake hands with them. <laughs> Dunk the racket and ball in your super disinfectant. Huh? Hey, Crash, look what I figured out. And you were worried. <laughs> now I can shake hands with you. Did you cut a glove hole in your door? You see, I think my body responds badly to the outside world. My eyes hurt, and there's a spot on my hand. Uh, there isn't a spot there. You're imagining the whole thing. No, I am not. Uh, it's there. It is. Uh, I promise you it's there. It is. Ah! When did you graduate from medical school anyway? Uh, what happened to my friend? It is right Walked here. inside. Don't and tell me it's not the there. Your health is the most important thing you've got. Uh, <laughs> you find another spot? You know, the cast will come off in a few weeks, and you'll be able to run even faster than before. Crash! Chico! Come and have some tea! <laughs> Help yourselves, boys. After you wash your hands. Uh -huh. It's all right. Why worry about a few microbes? Good health isn't guaranteed. You can wash your hands and still break a leg. Yeah, whatever you do. Stuff can happen. What a load of nonsense. Wash your hands this instant. Our treehouse is gonna rock. It'll have a swing and a ladder and a... Oh, hey, Chico. Should we have hard hats for this? Oh, buddy. Oh, take it easy. <laughs> easy. Hey, Wally, you got any nails? I said you got any nails, Wally! No! No! What the blazes are these? Nails. Crash said you didn't have any, so he asked me to bring you our extras. Hi, Wally. <laughs> I was just passing by, and I had some time, so I thought I'd drop in and we could catch up. <laughs> yes, of course. Come right in. <laughs> you want to talk? Talk. Just do it away from me. He's cranky today. I think it helps him really crank out his poems. What does a ram have to do to get some peace and quiet around here? It's like they're trying to annoy me. I think I deserve some alone time. Okay. Wally! You're getting wet! Come here! I've got an umbrella! <laughs> <laughs> oh, great muse of poetry. It is I, your humble servant. I beseech thee, give me the silence I require to create my poetry. Grant me the solitude I deserve!
An island? A desert island! It's only me, alone at last! Alone at last! Thank you all so much for listening to my humble little poem. So now, <laughs> I want to hear your honest opinion. Huh? What did you think? Speak up. Don't be shy. What's that? It's magnificent? Oh, stop. Huh? Brilliant? Oh, <laughs> wait, who just said it was worthless? Was it you? Aha! Uh -huh. Don't bother to deny it. You, sir, know nothing about art. <laughs> Pass! Don't be a ball hog! <laughs> Blocked you! It's mine! <laughs> I'm open! <laughs> Come on! Why am I the only one on defense over here? So Go team! <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, boo. Boo! Foul! That was a foul! Pass! Hustle! Hustle! Take him out! To me! I'm over here! Shoot! I cast a load upon the yeah. waves yeah. to cross the ocean blue. I thought I wanted solitude, but all I want is you. We're too late. I He's already gone. Voice inside the <laughs> rain. I see you <laughs> in the sky. I didn't know just what I had until I said goodbye. I didn't know just Wally, what I had until I said goodbye. Wally, we've been looking everywhere for you. Did you send us an SOS? Oh, thank on a goodness. Coconut? Because it had no directions. There you go. How are we supposed to now find you? Now you look you? awful. Fairy Let's get you a nice warm cup of Irish breakfast. I sailed around the harbor for a week. <laughs> am I dreaming? Or am I really going home? Chico, if it's... Truly you, pinch me. No! What do you think you're doing? You asked for it. You seem strung out, Wally. You should take a vacation. Someplace sunny and sandy where you can lie under a palm tree surrounded by the ocean with all the coconuts you can eat. It'll be fantastic. You deserve it, Wally. some cold medicine. There was nothing there, just clean and empty. I checked my nightstand and then the closet. I searched my pockets and my old storage trunk. I opened the windows for some fresh air and then I remembered. I also left the door open. I held on for dear life but got blown away by the draft. My goodness, can you believe it? Huh. How far was that? About 300 yards? 350. They said on the news it would be windy today. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm out of medicine. Time to reorder. 
Do you need anything? No, thank you, my dear. I never get sick, for I take preventative measures. <clears throat> uh, Carlin, do you think you could help me in the garden? I'm afraid that if I don't do something with my seedlings, then this wind will uproot them, right? Uh-huh. I have everything that you need. Come on! Mm. Uh, hold on. I forgot a compass in my toothbrush. I have to ask why you need a compass and a toothbrush. Just preventative measures. I don't want to have problems with my teeth, so I brush them often. <laughs> Okay, I get that. But why did you have to bring the compass? I can't hear in this wind. Barry, ah! hold on! I got gotcha! you! Ah! Ah! I don't feel so good! Look out, Barry! It's coming at us! Ah! Watch your head! So, about that compass, it's nice to have one if you lost. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ow! Can we please get rid of this board? It's really heavy, you know. Absolutely not. Wait, let me try and guess. It's a preventative measure. You got it. You never know when you might get wet. Go on. Don't worry about that, because I always come prepared. Uh <laughs> There's no way to be prepared all the time. That's impossible. Of course. Well, not all the time, but I try to be prepared as much as I can be. Why don't you get up from that cold rock? You'll get a chill. Whoa. <laughs> you even brought a scarf? <laughs> so why is that? It's the summer. What gives? I brought it for you, so you wouldn't get sick. Uh, what? <laughs> for me? <laughs> It's summer! I won't get sick! <laughs> Would have been nice, since you can see so far ahead. If we could have stayed at your house till this wind died down. You can't just avoid unpleasantness, my friend. You'd miss out on life if you never left the house. But it's much safer at home, and warmer, too. <laughs> no, not at all. A brisk walk in the fresh air is a preventative measure in itself. It prevents lots of stuff. Well, I'm glad he's so prepared. But my entire garden must have blown away. And now this great fresh air walk. What's with the iron umbrella? Oh, well, you know. I'll admit the umbrella may be a bit much. Just hold on a minute. Tell well, me what it's supposed to prevent, huh? What? What for? Well, falling meteorites. Come on. Well, you never know. It's a possibility. If you can prevent an accident. Oh, Carlin. <laughs> meteorites, huh? <laughs> I guarantee you, nothing's gonna fall on us. <laughs> huh? The door open again and the window. You can come out, Barry. We're almost mm. home now. Mm. Yeah, only 350 yards away.
Are you looking for mushrooms? <sighs> uh-huh. You came to the wrong place. You can find lots of them beyond the clearing, out in the forest. And also, three oaks. Yes. By three oaks, you can find enough to fill that basket of yours in absolutely no time. So where is this three oaks place? Oh, it's very easy. It's just a little bit beyond the birch grove. At which point you cross Stone River, then the creek, then there'll be a cliff on the left. And a ravine on the right. Yeah, the ravine. And you then... Wait, wait, hold on. I'm very confused. What's after this ball? Hold on. I'll draw you a map. Okay, let's see. First the creek, and then the ravine, the cliff, and here. How did the mushroom hunting go? There weren't three oaks or two or one. Just a couple of old stumps. But they were busy playing billiards. To think I wasted the whole day. No oaks? That's preposterous. Did you pass the birch grove? Yes. Cross Stone River? Yes. And the creek? Yes. But there was no cliff there or ravine. Just a swamp that's all dried up, like you two. Ah, so you didn't reach the creek. Oh, I see now. She mistook the spring for the creek. She never reached the creek. <laughs> oh, come on. The spring, the creek. You were just disoriented, my dear. What you need is a map. Come along. A map of the world, a star Shit. chart, a map of Africa, a map of... A map of Peru? Got one? Don't distract me! Uh, maps of Antarctica, the moon, uh, New Zealand, Old Zealand. Uh, phenomenal! You'd think I have a map of our area. I don't. Then we should make one. Achoo! You forgot the ridge. You know, the mountain ridge, just east of the pier. And beyond the forest, there's a meadow. You forgot it. I didn't forget them. There's just not enough space. I should have scaled everything smaller. Nah, the scale is fine. Just add the rest. Hold on. I see you put the forest right there, but where's my house? Only points of interest or significance are worthy of going on a map. Does your house have some historical value to it? Or did a famous person ever sleep there? Yeah, I sleep there every night. I'm afraid that doesn't qualify, my dear friend, but maybe in due time. <gasps> I've run out of paper. Keep drawing on this. We'll transfer it to paper later. off to draw a map of Peru. Mm. <sighs> well, I completed my map of Peru. Maybe it'll be of use to someone. I traveled there when I was young. 
I had such a good time. This is my good friend Miguel's cafe on Yarina Cocho Lagoon. Here's a nice little beach where I used to sunbathe under this rickety umbrella. And there you could buy a bamboo flute for my friend Jose. Of course, there's a lot more there, but I can only put the bare minimum on here. Only the important things go on a map. <laughs> it's okay, Sling. <laughs> You must clear your mind completely. Think as little as possible. Don't hold a single thought in your head. Let them float away on the breeze. Yeah. What for? So you can be like me, Karate Crash. If you master the martial arts, you'll never be afraid again. I'm not afraid of anything. Oh, my sweet, simple friend. That's because you know not what dangers lie ahead. You have not suffered hardship at the hands of fate. Life has not yet robbed you of your innocence. Here, hit me. What for? Hit me, and I'll show you how to take life's punches and roll with them. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> I wasn't ready! Here, do it again! Hmm. Oh, oh. Uh, you're doing it wrong, Chico! You stand like this, and you hit like this, and this. Try it! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's Mad Rabbit style, also known as the best style. You're welcome! Did you see what I did there? I used the tree against you! With a left and a right and a boom, boom, pow! Crash! 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 Boom! The trees have ears. I've been thinking, if we get attacked, I could take two, three, maybe even five guys. With the training I just gave you, you could probably take one. Probably. But what do we do if there's 30 of them? Or 100? What if they have cannons? Or helicopters? What if they ride dinosaurs? Who are they? They are bad guys, of course. Yeah. Go! Evil aliens, killer robots, acid spitting dragons, pie throwing clowns. Any of them could descend upon us at any time. I think that's highly unlikely. What did I say about thinking? I can feel them. I know they're out there. Never lower your guard, my spiny friend. Never! Or they'll catch you with your pants down. Get down! Hmm. Just as I thought. Oh, he's good. So good. But not good enough. I believe, Chico. A ninja is hunting us. He's waiting for the perfect time to strike. But he's no match for Karate Crash. Well, why does he have to be a ninja? Couldn't he just be one of our friends? No way! I have an eye for these things. Just look at these tracks, Chico. These were made with sneaky ninja shoes. This is the perfect place to catch us a ninja. And beat him until he talks. Or we could act like civilized folk and try talking to him first. That's what I said. We catch him first. And then we make him talk. Hey, fellas, how's it hanging? Barry, you shouldn't be here. There's a shady guy about. 
Well, I <laughs> went to chop some firewood, but when I got to the forest, I <laughs> remembered I left a kettle of Earl Grey tea on the stove. <laughs> I can't resist Earl Grey with a little honey. So I ran home and I was having a nice cup of tea when I recalled that I left my axe in a stump. <laughs> I'd forget my head if it wasn't screwed on. Yeah, okay. I believe you this time, I guess. Chico, what do you think? Chico? Chico, wait up! <laughs> Shame on us. Shame on us. <laughs> Chico, why did you run away? We strung up Barry, all because of your mm -hmm. paranoia. Now we're the bad guys. We're huh? abominable bear trappers. We're the worst. Okay, so I overdid it. But nobody got hurt. Hey, buddy, I think you're right. The world is a good place. Full of sunshine and rainbows. And zero ninjas lurking in the shadows. Maybe we don't need karate. Hmm? Good night, Crash. See you tomorrow. You know, if you go looking for trouble, you'll eventually find it. So stop looking. You got it. Have a great night. <laughs> Sweet dreams, dear naive Chico. For though the threat of attack is ever present, you're always safe under the protection of Cha! Karate Crash. Crash, Chico. I want to go home now. I'm getting lightheaded. My tail is a popsicle, and I can't feel my hat. Guys. some different games like girl ones which games could that be well for example dolls or like a tea party you know you should just leave the sports to the guys <laughs> you only say that because i always win and you always lose -uh. she go hang on i'm talking to her i'm saying it because it makes me so sad watching you waste away your childhood Playing games for boys. Uh, no. It's what I like to do. But you like playing dolls just as much. Just give it a try. I don't even have dolls. I can make one. For now, Chico can be your doll. You'll be the mama, and Chico will be the daughter. I mean, son. <laughs> Why should I be the son? Because I'm off to make the doll. But wait. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. You're the girl. Use your maternal instinct or whatever. Have fun. Good luck, Chico. Take care of him? So are you... hungry? Yeah, that's a great idea. I could eat. More? More? Oh, no, thank you. Hold on, please. Here you go. And now it's time to brush your teeth and go to bed. But uh, I don't want to go to bed. I know better what you want and what you don't want. Who knows better than Mom? Huh, okay. I'll teach her how to play girl games. <sighs> Crash. <laughs> Crash! Hey, Chico. What happened to you? Huh? Look, just don't ask. Tell me, how soon can you make a doll for Rosa? Because I can't take it anymore. Everything is almost ready. Huh? Rock a five baby on the treetop. Chico! Didn't I tell you to walk near the house? Where did you run off to? You don't listen. And now I'm really upset with you. Why is my son such a troublemaker? You see, look what I'm up against. All right, there's your doll. Where are you going? Come back right now! Wear a hat! It's cold out! 
it's clear we shouldn't have started this game in the first place. This could get ugly. It's okay, she'll live. The maternal instinct is a powerful force. I got it! Oh. Oh. Crash, I am fine with you being friends with Chico, but you must not be a bad influence on him. He's become moody and unresponsive. He doesn't even eat his food. And worst of all, he doesn't listen. Now give me back my son! Let go. You've gone totally nuts. And you're ungrateful. Get back here now. Can't you see that you're breaking my heart? Oh, hold on there. What's the matter? So, you know, I was playing with Rowan and I told him that she played girl games. So, I gave her a doll, but here she goes standing now. She wants to go for herself. That's incredible. <clears throat> You may have taken the game a bit too far. I'll explain everything to you. You see, well, what they was going to play, and they wanted to trade this, but when they try to run, then you do that. So, they, of course, they don't really realize it's anything, so you're going to do that. Then. <gasps> <gasps> oh, oh, my goodness. It's quite difficult to explain anything at all to her right now. She's upset, and the best thing to do is to, you know, play along. Oh, oh, not me! I can't! <laughs> oh, come on, just do it! Look, she's hurting inside! It's not that hard! Oh, Chico, you gotta be patient for once. Look, she'll play with you some more, but eventually she'll get tired of you. Hopefully one of her other instincts will kick in. <laughs> Prodigal son, so touching, just wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, do you want to play, Daco? <sighs> Let's do it. <laughs> You're way worse than Rosa. <laughs> and when you grow up, I'll enroll you in an arts program. <laughs> Oh, come on, Mom. Sometimes it seems like things kind of lose their real meaning. Like the real meaning of a window is to look through it. But sometimes you look through it, and it seems there isn't really anything to see. Nothing interesting, anyway. Or what's the real meaning of washing your face in the morning? To get clean? Or just to do something? But then what's the real meaning of doing something? In the morning? Or any time at all? What's the real meaning of even existing? Unclear. Unclear whether life has always been meaningless, and you simply never noticed it until now. Or there used to be meaning, but at some point it somehow faded away. <coughs> should nap in the snow, you'll get whooping cough. So what? What would it mean to not get whooping cough? Not feeling bad. What's the meaning of feeling good? To be healthy, of course, you woolly goopa. And being healthy means what? You nuts. Isn't being healthy better than being unwell? It's not a question of better. Better is irrelevant. What's the point of being healthy if it doesn't mean something? So, you're looking for meaning? Yep. In everything? <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Then you need Kuzanatra. What on earth is Kuzanatra? Kuzanatra is a thing that gives meaning. That! I need that! Bad! Where do you get it? It's a long way from here. To find real meaning, I would travel anywhere! Yeah, nah. I'd have to show you how to get there, and it's too far. And I already have enough meaning in my life without Kuzanatra. I'm begging you, take me to the meaning. If I can't get there, all is lost. All right. Let's go then, try to keep up. 
You really surprise me. Knowing about Kuzanatra, have you really never thought of using it for yourself? Well, the less you know, the better you sleep. Sounds like your spirit's quite tired, my friend. <sighs> you have become old, my friend. Tired and indifferent. You're telling me you aren't even curious about the meaning of life? What would I gain from that information? What if it turns out the meaning of life is to not eat sweets and not sleep till noon? That would be... <clears throat> a giant bummer. <sighs> Old silly Carlin. So very kind. Huh? In his own way. What? Can you imagine what a wonderful, fulfilling life we'll have when we both finally completely understand the real meaning of it all? I can't wait! It's gonna be so awesome! You'll understand why you eat too much cake, or tell a silly lie for no reason. I won't waste any more time wondering what stuff means, and then life will become easy and clear. You know, I had an easy and clear life, but then I ran into you, and now we're here. What's the cause of all evil? It's because each of us sees the same things differently. Each of us interprets the same things in different ways, which makes conflict. But if there were only one meaning, the true, real one, everybody would just get along. How much longer will it be until we reach Kuzanatra? Would it kill Kuzanatra to live closer to my house? We need to... Write a note telling how everyone can make the journey themselves to Kuzanatra. We can tell them what the journey's like. They'll be better prepared than us. That way they'll know to bring a coat. I'm almost frozen. And I have a built-in sweater. Come on. We have to get there. Have to. Then we can help everyone learn the truth. Home now. Home and free. We lost our direction in the blizzard. And made a detour. Just try and get some rest now. We can try to get there again tomorrow. There's no need to hurry. Kuzanatra won't get away from us. The real meaning of this broth is to be eaten to help bring back my strength. The real meaning of my comfy, soft, warm bed is for rest. And these meanings just might be enough for me. For now. Hmm.